Okay, we are now cleared for takeoff. So we're going to use the throttle to convert. Key four seven Delta traffic departing priority arrivals and experimental. <laughs> to convert chemical energy to thrust. So we're going to initially see that thrust give us kinetic energy. So there's the kinetic energy starting to build. We'll increase the angle of attack so that we get some potential energy as well as the kinetic energy. We'll change the camber of the wing by retracting the flaps and we will choose an appropriate combination of kinetic energy and increase in potential energy so that we have good view over the nose and good engine cooling. So we are now at an appropriate angle of attack to give us the desired mixture of kinetic energy and increased potential energy. Coming up on our desired quantum of potential energy, so we will reduce the thrust that we will level off at the desired amount of potential energy. And as we start the turn, we will have to increase the angle of attack to give us extra lift for centripetal force. We have overshot our desired amount of potential energy, and we have a surplus of kinetic energy. So we will reduce the thrust, knowing that when we dissipate some of this potential energy, we'll get extra kinetic energy that at this point we don't really want. Okay, so now we're about ready to turn base, so we will tilt the lift vector, increase the angle of attack, and this increased induced drag ought to help us dissipate some of this extra kinetic energy that we don't want. We will maintain our potential energy. We are constantly reducing our thrust here. About ready to where we can deploy the flaps for more camber, more lift, and more drag. We will now trim for the increased angle of attack and the decreased kinetic energy. Now turn final and increase the angle of attack to give us more lift to generate the centripetal force and we will trade off potential energy for kinetic energy at a higher rate to maintain the desired kinetic energy during the turn. Now we're going to have to add some thrust so that we don't dissipate our potential energy too fast while we are maintaining the desired kinetic energy. Now as we approach the runway, we're going to increase the angle of attack to, and that will in turn decrease our loss rate or potential energy, and the extra induced drag will also help us get rid of our kinetic energy.